I really couldn't believe that they said this about Lamar Jackson. I, I really couldn't believe, like, because this was straight up disrespect in my eyes. It, it was straight disrespect. Um, I thought it was actually a troll account when I first saw it come across the screen yesterday. I was like, there ain't no way that that's real, but it actually is. Pro Football Focus. PFF, all y'all familiar with PFF. Um, they do, just like everybody else nowadays, they do fantasy football as well. So they have an account uh, called PFF Fantasy. But they were doing some 2023 projections for some different players. And they call Lamar Jackson their fantasy QB5 in their projections. All right, cool. QB5. I don't even know who QBs one through four were. But with what they said about Lamar Jackson, it don't even matter. Um, and they called it bounce back season. I'm like, okay, bounce back season. Obviously, he missed the end of last year due to injury. Okay, what's that bounce back season expected to be from PFF? Listen to what they said. So, 2023 projections for Lamar Jackson. 4,304 total yards. That's 4,300 total yards. I ain't even tripping about that. It could be 4,000 passing yards, 304 rushing yards, 3,900 passing yards. Like, I, I ain't tripping about that. But this was the part. <laughs> this was the part that got me. Come like, but y'all, y'all like really trying them out anyway. Twenty-four total touchdowns. I was like, what? Twenty-four total touchdowns. Total. Like that's including passing and rushing. Twenty-four total. Now I uh I no I just. I don't see that, like, at all. Look, like, no, at 24 total? So he could have 21 passing and, and three rushing. He could have 20 passing and four rushing. He could have 19 passing and five rushing. Nah, that, would that really be a bounce back season? No, I, in my opinion, no. And I, I just don't envision his touchdown totals being that low. Like, that's. That would be really low, especially with everything that we're anticipating that the Baltimore Ravens and specifically Lamar Jackson do this year. New offense, brand new offense. And again, the, them, him being in a brand new offense, I don't think should be a concern to anybody. Because again, remember from college, he had to go from college to the pros, went to a new offense then in the middle of the season. He was learning one offense, then they had to completely change the offense because Joe Flacco got hurt. They inserted Lamar, they changed the offense. They changed everything that they did. New offense then. Then from 2018 to 2019, brand new offense then. What did he do? Hey, you just won that unanimous MVP, whatever. Okay, cool. So he's already shown success, high levels of success, when they do make a new offense. His rookie year, they made a new offense. He had to learn a new offense middle of the season. They went, what, 6-1, and 7-1? and one? Uh, the second year, he had to learn a new offense. They went fourteen and two, and and he, even after not after after having already learned the offense, he's continued to have success when he's played. But twenty four total touchdown. Like even look at look at his numbers in the past. Look at his numbers in the past. All right, so his rookie year again, he only played like six seven games. Uh, he threw he threw for six touchdowns. Um, but let's see how much he ran for. He ran for five. So that was eleven right there, and that's only six seven games, and that was his rookie year. So brand new, all that. His second year, he threw for 36 touchdowns, uh, and he ran for, how much did he ran for? He ran for seven touchdowns. So that's 43 right there. Uh, and then in 2020, he passed for 20 touchdowns and ran for seven. So that's 27 right there. Oh, no, 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 excuse me, 2020. He passed for 26 touchdowns. And ran for seven. My fault, Lamar. I'm over here taking touchdowns away from my guy. My fault. I apologize. I apologize, man. I'm sorry, man. I'm so sorry. My apologies. But so, so you see what I'm saying. And then even we can go the last two years too. But last two years he obviously didn't finish them. But still, we got to talk about the numbers. 2021, he threw for 16 touchdowns. 2022, he threw for 17 touchdowns. Uh, in 2021, he ran for two touchdowns. In 2022, he ran for three. So that's a total of 18 and 20 touchdowns, and he didn't even finish those seasons. Like even last year, uh, it said he played 12 games. Well, he really played 11 games because that, that 12th game was that Broncos game, and he ended up getting hurt in the first quarter of that game and never played again. So for these projections, I, especially if you're projecting Lamar a full season, like think about, think about this, man. Like really think about it. With everything that they and a, and a new offensive coordinator too, because I could understand if there was a fear, 
if the Ravens had this guy, that guy, that guy, that guy, if they had an Odell Beckham Jr., Zay Flowers, and Mark Andrews, well, not with Mark Andrews, you know he's gonna get, he would get his. But if they had all these new weapons, uh, but they still had them under the previous offense, if they had them under the previous regime, then I can understand how that could be a fear there. But with Todd Munkin, it's expected. It still has to be proven now. It still has to be proven. But it is expected that he is going to use the entirety of the field. And he's going to use a plethora of his weapons. And it's important that he does uh, in order to the, for the Ravens to have the most success that they can possibly have. Uh, if this was a more respectable number um, that I would think of with Lamar Jackson as far as total t touchdowns. Because um, I could see him running for maybe like maybe six yeah, like five, six touchdowns Because I, I don't think he's going to be running like crazy Like he, he had before uh, But I still think he's going to get his But I think a lot more focus is going to be Getting the ball out of his, his hands quicker He's going to still get his here and there But I think the focus is going to be getting the ball out of his hands A lot more and a lot quicker And to a lot more different targets And that should be a lot of fun Just thinking about it, it's exciting And we are... Nine days away Because Friday, Saturday, Sunday uh, Well, uh, yeah, I guess nine and change Technically or whatnot, ten, whatever But we we right there We <laughs> we right there to the football season, man We about to play them Texans next week Next week Oh, So it, it's, it's, it's going to be fun, man It's going to be, uh, we, we back, baby We are back um, But anyway, I would think like five, six Russian touchdowns uh, and as far as passing touchdowns, I would say 17 games, especially if he's fully healthy. I'm going, I will go 37. I go anywhere from 37 to 37 to 39. Now, that's a lot of touchdowns right there. That's a whole lot. Um, but I think like with the new offense, with what I expect them to do and how I expect them to be and all the different weapons and all the different matchup problems that they can cause, I think that's realistic numbers. But hey, hey, that could just be me. What do y'all think? I, I want to hear from y'all. I mean, I always hear from y'all regardless, but I really want to hear from y'all what y'all expect Lamar Jackson to do this season. Or, and if you think this PFF, the 24 total touchdowns, is actually a respectable number. I don't, but who, do y'all think that that's actually a respectable number, especially with a full season from Lamar Jackson, a full season from Odell Beckham Jr., Rashad Bateman, Mark Andrews, Nelson Aguilar, Devin DuVernay, Tay Tylen Wallace, Isaiah Likely, Charlie Collar, J.K. Dobbins, Gus Edwards, Justice Hill. You tell me. Team Keep It Clean. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss not one single thing. And turn your notifications on. And we out.